feel like it's time for a project to be done. And I've been sitting on a project. Obviously, I'm in my bedroom. And I've been sitting on a project for way too long because I've been wanting to do this. <sighs> haven't gotten around to it, but I'm finally going to do it because I really want to redo this bedroom completely. But I feel like we need some baby steps to get there. So, what I'm going to do, do we all see this here? This is my side table from Ikea. I've had it, I think, for probably 10 years. I moved here from my hometown with this guy, the whole house and the vibes. It's just not going together. We're doing, you know, the, the oranges, the greens, the blacks, the things like that. So we are going to redo this beauty. And if you want to watch any of my other videos of, so you can see all the colors that I have going on in this apartment, um, they will be listed up here for you. So I'm going to take everything off of here, obviously. And then I'm going to completely redo it. So what I want to do is I have a lot of contact paper. I'm thinking my black contact paper and rewrap this to be black. I was thinking walnut because I love walnut. Everything or 90% of the stuff I have is walnut, but I'm feeling like a black one. Yeah, I think I'm going to do black. So we're going to clean it off, wipe it down a little bit and start wrapping her. Okay, now that everything is off of here, uh, I think I'm gonna move and take this into the living room and work from there. Cause so please excuse the loud heater noise. It will go off eventually. Uh, so I'm gonna wipe this down, uh, obviously dry it off, and then I'm gonna start working on putting this black contact paper on here. So I've used black contact paper before, you can see in one of my other videos. Um, I used it on my kitchen cart and it's actually really good. It, it, it's pretty easy to apply and I would say it lasts a pretty decent amount of time. Obviously if you hit it or you nick it or anything like that, um, it's going to show some marks but it's not horrible and as long as you wrap it in a specific way, like you don't want to wrap something like the front and then this folds in because then you'll see the line. So you just want to think about how you're doing it before you do it and then usually it'll end up pretty, pretty well and it, it'll be easy. Hey guys, so it's time for my voiceover. So I am just cleaning it off and then I'm opening the um, black contact paper. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of measuring out how much I'm going to need of this. I, you know, in the beginning when I tried this before, I really tried really hard to mark every single detail I was doing and cut perfectly and precisely. And you really don't need to just make enough so it'll overhang and that you have enough just in case there is some error it's not going to be perfect especially your first time doing it but once you do it once or twice you'll get into it and so here i'm just kind of making sure it's at least a little bit even and then i'm peeling away and slowly trying to just push it onto this cabinet without creating any air bubbles because as you'll see as i go there will be a little bit of air bubbles but um you just you know realign it things like that so just cutting off excess pieces and then you can see that i'm going down at the bottom one and doing the same thing um and the thing that you want to do is like i said have that excess part and what you do is can you kind of cut the corners and make sure that it's aligning as good as possible you cut the corners you try to fold it over it's kind of like you're wrapping a christmas present so if you're not good at that you might need some help from some other people some of your friends things like that it doesn't have to be precise like i said but try your best because the best the better you can cut it things like that the better it will look i would say if this is your first time the darker the wood the better or the darker the wood the darker the color the better because then it can hide all of the imperfections so like this one 
any of my imperfections i really couldn't see when i did my cart that's in my kitchen there was a lot more imperfections but also it was my first time so you know but you just want to make sure you can smooth over everything just push down everything as much as possible so now i'm also measuring the top obviously you got to measure all the sides as good as possible then i'm putting it down as you can see here i pull it up a few times because air bubbles and also it pulled up a lot of the paint that was on this now this thing is 10 years old so if there's paint coming off of it i understand um if anybody's worried about paint coming up from it like if you're doing you know kitchen cabinets and you're in a rental i would advise to just be careful when you're pulling it back off um probably heat it up first with a blow dryer um that should make it come off a lot easier the sticky stuff might come off but then i i heard you could put goo on off of it and it'll come off so no worries um and I also like you can see here i'm not being super precise that it covers everything i'm just making sure that it covers what i can visually see as long as it does that then i'm okay it doesn't have to be perfect just you know i'm cutting in any excess off trying not to keep anything extra on there try my best trying my best i actually did a lot better on this than i thought i would but you know um doing the same thing from the sides so i measured off pieces obviously this contact paper isn't big enough to do the whole thing but you can barely see the lines which i am super excited about super happy about um i feel like if you get a pattern or if you get a dark color you won't really see lines which is nice um yeah try to be as precise as possible with um any of your cuts as you can see here it glides really easily when you're cutting usually with scissors um i think i probably would have cut it a little bit differently where i'm working on it right now but um you know trial and error because you can kind of see the lines there but it's fine second piece pushing that down I'm trying really hard for no air bubbles because the air bubbles are annoying so you can you can kind of see the line but it's like it's not horrible it's it's slightly visible but like not enough that it's crazy you know so right now I'm just cutting around so that it'll fit, you know, around the the parts of the drawer slides into. Um, I did it for both sides and now I'm just trying to cover up the last bits in the front, which actually were kind of the hardest part because it was just like right in between all this stuff. And these are my junk drawers and I wasn't about to take any of that sh out. That would have been too much work. You know, we're all about doing things as simply as possible not trying to do too much work <laughs> and then last but not least was the bottom part of this which actually was these a lot easier because there's no drawers really in the way um the only annoying part was that the carpet i have sheds and it just loved to stick to all of these pieces it's like i either have a shedding carpet or i have a shedding cat that likes to go on to all of these sticky things you know it's it's never easy i was just gonna wrap it around and then i was like that's way too big so i cut it uh wrapped it again i'm really trying hard to push down as hard as possible so it stays and i'm pulling off the hair on the sides and this is the final product i think it's gorgeous hope you guys enjoyed um if you did subscribe here um, watch my other videos as well and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!